Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I install puddle lights in my 2019 Tesla Model X. So there's a bit of a story that goes along with it because I had picked up a set that didn't really work out and my friends over at EV Annex hooked me up with another set once I told them what happened. So I'm super thankful to EV Annex for giving me these lights. I've been through so much crap lately and this was uh, really nice to happen to me. So that was pretty cool. So obviously it's dark outside. I had to come out here and get some film of it now that it's all done because puddle lights are kind of hard to see in the daylight. They don't really do much at all, but at nighttime, they do look pretty cool. So go ahead, watch this video. I do actually talk about a giveaway in this video that I want to pass along to somebody. So if it's something you're interested, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I don't really have any rules or anything, but it'd be cool if you're subscribed and uh, we'll figure it out. I'll get it to somebody who really wants it. But that's enough blabbing for now. Go ahead and enjoy the video and I will see you on the next one. Here are the first of the new products that I wanna show you guys. So this one here is a cover that's gonna go on top of the sill plates. So the sill plates seem to scratch a little easily, but this is just kind of a, a carbon fiber film that fits over top of it. And it looks like it comes with some tools and some instructions and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try to get that in there maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how the weather is gonna be. But these I wanna get installed tonight. These are door lights. So these are the lights that go on the bottom of the door. They usually, they're called puddle lights. And the ones that are in there now are barely visible. It's hard to even know they're even there. Uh, so these are gonna have a Tesla emblem and they're red. So I'm not too sold on the red. Uh, I thought I'd give it a try. We'll see how it looks. I'll have links for this stuff below. Again, they're not like Amazon affiliate links or anything. Uh, it's just uh, just regular old Amazon links so you guys can see what I, what I purchased. But yeah, so here it is. It's getting a little darker, so I'm gonna get these in tonight so I can see what they look like. First, I'll show you what the lights look like currently. They are right up under there. Like I said before, they're really hard to see. It's almost like they're not even there. When I'm driving the car and I get out, I didn't even notice there were puddle lights. So I'll get these new ones in there. It might just make it look cool. Maybe it'll give us more light. I don't know, we'll find out tonight. But it looks like installation is gonna be about the same as the other lights that I installed, which you can kind of see one of them right up under there. So it's gonna be the same idea. Uh, I'll link below that video when I installed all of those lights in the vehicle. It looks like it's gonna be the same. So check that out for installation tips and techniques. Well, so far these are a bust. These aren't working at all. This is the driver's side and the puddle light is not working at all. This is the brand new one that I just installed. Let's go check out the other side, see what's happening over here. This, this one is OEM. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so you can see the light. It's a very dim light. I'd like to improve that. Now I'll install the new Tesla logo on this side and see how. Wow, well, the new one's installed and this one doesn't work either. You can see that it's on. I mean, there is some basic light, but it's not shining any logo like it's supposed to. So bummer. I can't recommend these ones. I'll have to go through a, a better company like EvanX or something, or EVNX, however they say it. I'll update more as uh, I get a good pair that actually work. Hey guys, now that I have my car back from Tesla, I am going to wrap up an installation that I started months ago, a long time ago. Hopefully I could even find all of the old footage because I did this a very, very long time ago. But a company had sent me some puddle lights for my car that have the Tesla T on them and they didn't work. Uh, they just, they went in and for some reason didn't project the, the T. So I told my friends over at EV Annex about it and they sent me one of theirs. So I'm really looking forward to getting these things in there finally and having some puddle lights down there. This is also a Tesla T and I think it'll look really cool. So thank you EV Annex for these lights. I can't wait to put them in, but I'll spin the camera around and kind of show you some stuff I have going on over here. So it's very cold. It's January, but I'm out here going to try to get these in here. 
it's just a typical light. If you watch my other video when I installed all of the under lights, like there's like one under there, there's a couple under the seats. They go in the same way. So these are the same types of lights and I don't know if I can get to it, but it's right there. And that's the light I'm gonna be replacing. I also want to mention that I want to give away these decal stickers. This was another product that was sent to me and I thought it was going to be a little nicer when I saw the photos. I didn't realize it was basically just a sticker, but these go here, right there, and another one goes right up there. The gimbal's all messed up. <laughs> so I thought they were going to be nicer. Um, it's basically just a sticker. So what I'm going to do, once I get back up to a thousand subscribers, I want to give this to somebody. So I'll figure out how to give that to somebody. But uh, if you want that, then um, just subscribe and we'll figure it out from there. But that's gonna belong to somebody. Uh, this is also something I, I wanted to show. I think this is really cool. This is a decal for the back of the car. Uh, it can go on any car. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put on this X or my camper or something else, I'm not sure. But you can get these on Etsy. I'll have a link below. I think this is so neat. Uh, I don't know, maybe you think it's stupid, but I think it's pretty cool. So um, I have that stuff. A quick update on some of the other stuff that I did a review on. This cargo mat, I obviously don't currently have it in my car. I did a review video on that a few months ago. I've been using this a lot since making that video and I love this mat. So check out that video if you have any questions about this stuff or you can ask me below, but I highly recommend this mat. That was very cool. And this is my air mattress that I picked up. Uh, I'm probably going to be using this on my road trip down to Austin, which is happening very shortly. But that looks neat, and uh, hopefully it's comfortable. I'll find out shortly. So I found out what's going on. This thing just broke, and it was really difficult to fit in there for some reason. I really had to push hard to get it in there. So it looks like it wasn't displaying the Tesla T because it was just misaligned. This was actually flopping around inside the door. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend that one. The build does seem similar to this. I mean, just the plastic looks similar. It has a similar indentation, but the cover looks different compared to the EV Annex pieces. So I'm really hoping the EV Annex one is better. I'm sure it will be, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. I thought this was gonna be a quick and easy swap out, but I spent like 10 minutes trying to get this piece out of the door. So that one's going in the trash. This one's going in the left side. I have the one on the passenger side done. So now it's time to head over to the other side. All right, success. I've got the driver's side in now. Same thing had happened. The thing just shattered. It was all in pieces. I had to fish it out of the door. So I don't recommend that one. I'll try to find a link and post that one below so you know which one not to buy and which one to buy. Uh, I can't see it, obviously, in the daylight and on the snow, so I'll try to get a photo and include that here of what it looks like at night tonight. So quick interruption here. I did say that I was going to just include some photos, but this looks so cool that I really have to make a video of it. So I'm going to open this door and uh, show you what it looks like. Look at that. That is cool. I really love it. Just moves with the door, of course. Man. That looks pretty neat. Obviously the other side's gonna look the same, but I'm gonna head over there anyway and show you guys that too. Oh, the light just kicked on out here, so this might not be as bright. Hey, it still looks pretty cool. So that's with my light that I have up behind me. Yeah, so I highly recommend these. Thank you, EVNX. These are really, really freaking cool. And lastly, before I go, I thought I would explain why I look like a hobo. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been having some issues with Tesla. I just got my car back uh, like two, three days ago. So I've barely left the house because we were a one car family for about a month. So I haven't had a haircut in a very long time. Today, I hope to go down and get a haircut. So if you're wondering why I look worse than usual, it's, it's the hair, it's like a month past due. But <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. See you guys.